All right, we are in part six by now in installing a triple boot Mac OS, Linux, and Windows 11 on my classic Mac Pro 5.1 from 2012. Unfortunately, there is no easy way to install Windows 11 on classic Mac Pro, and you will see why in a few minutes. So to recap what we have done so far from part one to part five. So in part one, we created an installer for Windows 11. And then followed by creating a Zorin OS USB installer in part two. And then after that, we create a USB installer for Mac OS Big Sur with the help of Open Core Legacy Patcher. So after we successfully created those USB installers, in part four, we started off by installing the Mac OS Big Sur. And then we resize the partition on the same disk to give some space for Zorin OS installation. And that will be the part five. And now in part six, we're gonna install Windows 11 on a separate disk. So there are good reasons you wanna install Windows 11 on separate disk. And you'll find out why in part seven on this video. So make sure you watch part seven because there are a lot of pitfalls of installing Windows 11 on Apple machine. And definitely, I don't want you to go through the same mistake that I did in this series. All right, with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna show you the guide of manually install Windows 11. So open your browser and search for Dortania Open Core Windows 10 UEFI. So this guide works on Windows 10 and also Windows 11, but in order to find it, you have to use Windows 10 keywords for it. All right, so this guide is based on that link, CDS Mac Pro Thread. Unfortunately, with the Dotenia, it doesn't work as it is. So you have to go and install for Mac Pro 5.1, you have to go directly to CDFs, uh, open core on the Mac Pro installation guide. And you might want to go scroll down to the part. So you don't want to go with the all of introduction. You, you could obviously read if you want to. So we are interested with the parts that installing Windows 11 manually. And this is the guide that we have to follow. Uh, we're not gonna be installing Windows 11 from the graphical user interface. Instead, we're gonna copy the installer uh, onto the C drive manually by following uh, this guide. All right, so we have to prepare the USB and then format the Windows disk as written here in the guide all right so let's get started let's get into uh, this utility okay so make sure you check show all devices so that you can see all of them so i'm gonna close this because we're not gonna install that this is my mac os high sierra and this is the new ssd one terabyte that i have installed in my apple machine so I have done formatting this drive as XFAT, but I'm gonna do it one more time to show you how I did it. So let's put a name here as disk, sorry, disk C, and select XFAT as a format. Make sure it's GUID partition map and hit erase. All right, that's done. So let's close the disk utility and look at the instruction. Um, we already did the extra driver, so let's scroll down. And the boot, boot the installer. Okay, so this is exactly what we wanna do. So we already uh, created a USB Windows 11 USB installer. So this is the perfect time to insert it and we're gonna reboot the machine. All right, in here, you wanna, you wanna choose the UEFI and TFS and that is your USB installer.
And this is where the guide says that you need to press Shift and F10 to open a terminal. And let's start by typing disk part. And within this disk part, we're going to try to list off the volume and all the disks that we have. So type in list volume. So we are interested on this letter C with the label disk C, and that is volume number one. And our USB installer is on letter D at volume four. All right, let's go and select volume one and then type in format quick fs equal sign ntfs label equal sign windows and hit enter successfully formatted and now you can exit and now what you want to do based on the guide you have to change directory to d okay and then change directory to sources hold on a second i think i missed some steps so let's go back to d again so here you want to rename the directory efi into efi.ba key. So we make a backup of this original um, efi directory. All right, let's go back to sources. And here you want to type dism slash get wim info slash wim file colon install dot wim all right so we're going to install windows 11 pro so that is on index 6 so next you want to type is we're going to select that index 6 so this term slash apply dash image Slash image file colon install dot wim slash index colon six yeah I believe it was six and then slash apply dear C colon no sorry apply dear colon C and colon backslash that's quite a lot of lines a lot of letters a lot of slash right slash compact slash E A all capitals and hit enter Right, let's give it some time. Operation completed successfully. And now we're going to make this disk bootable. So type BCD boot. C colon backslash windows slash s d colon slash f u e f i and hit enter.
Let's give it a moment. Okay, put file successfully created. Now we can exit from here. And let's reboot the machine. All right, so we're going to go back into the Mac OS. Okay, provide with the password. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually we're going to try to install the uh, UFI, to modify the UFI for Windows in order to boot. So let's go and open terminal. Let me resize this a little bit. So you want to type in disk util list and you should be able to see the windows directory and that is on okay that's the efi you see that the windows and the efi that is on disk number four so type in sudo we're going to mount this disk this util mount slash dev slash disk four as one now provide with the password and now if you go into finder you should be able to see the EFI folder so when you click that EFI and obviously that's empty and that's what we need to um, prepare right now so create a new folder call it EFI and we're gonna need to let me check the instruction we're gonna need to copy so if, oh, I have to insert the USB. Hold on a second. Let me insert the USB. All right, there you go. So I have to go to the installation directory EFI and drag this, okay? And put it into that EFI folder. Oh, I drag it wrong. Let me drag it back again. There you go. So EFI. Microsoft, let me check in. Sorry, yes, EFI, EFI Microsoft, and that's that's done basically. So let's reboot the machine. Okay, so let's get into Windows setup. So this is going to take some time, so feel free to fast forward or skip, and I'll be right back. All right, so we are in. Now I need to set the right country or region. I'm in the United States. Is this the right keyboard layout? Yes. Want to add a second keyboard? No. Let's connect to your network. I don't have internet right now. And let's continue with the limited setup. Accept the license and agreement. So who's going to use the device type in your name in my case I just type in PC and I'm gonna insert the password and then insert the password one more time now add security questions let's choose what is your first pet name I'm gonna put my pet's name and second security question, what is the name of the city you were born? I'm going to type that in. Security question number three, what is your childhood nickname? Then I'm going to provide that with my nickname and hit next. All right, I'm going to disable all of this because I don't think I need all of those features. And hit accept. And here's the welcome page. 
feel free again feel free to skip or fast forward it's gonna take some time so i'll be right back Almost there. And that's it. We are in Windows 11 Pro. Okay, so let's go ahead and restart the machine. And see if we can put into um, Zorin OS and also Mac OS. All right, let's go and choose EFI to put the Zorin OS and press enter. Looks like everything is fine. So we're, we have successfully installed a Mac OS Pixar. And now we just restarted the machine and we are in Zorin OS. So Zorin OS seems to work just fine. So, all right, let's go ahead and reboot the machine. So hit that Zorin logo and hit restart. So hopefully, if everything is fine, we should be able to enter into Mac OS Big Sur. We'll see. Yes, so yeah, we are gonna see Mac OS Big Sur. Finger crossed, finger crossed, finger crossed, finger crossed. yes okay so provide the password and we are in the mac os big Sur. okay so that concludes part six of installing windows 11 on my machine the apple mac pro 5.1 from 2012 so by now i have mac os big Sur, uh, zorin os and also windows 11 pro installed and they're all perfectly working together now there is one more part, which is part seven that I don't want you to miss because this part seven contains the do's and the don'ts that I want you to watch because that can make sure that you don't do the mistake that I did in this series. All right, I hope you enjoy watching the entire series. Please make sure to subscribe and like so that you don't miss any future videos from my channel. Until then, be safe and happy hacking.